Namaskara. I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal and I'm an eye surgeon as well as being a genetic researcher and surgeon. I live in Bangalore and we are situated with Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, Bangalore. So the problem with watery eyes is, first we need to understand that there are too many things that can cause watery eyes and just about half the patients that walk into an ophthalmic practice come for watery eyes. There are some very common causes for watery eyes. Some of them is dryness of the eye, allergies and infections. There can be other causes as well like uveitis and glaucoma that means inflammations inside the eye or increased pressure in the eye or bleeding into the eye. However, let's not get into that. Let's go to the common causes. The common causes is first dryness of the eye and allergies of the eye and infections of the eye. Of these, infections are the most serious. How do we distinguish these three? The first thing you want to understand is if there is an infection, there will be a correlated pain and there will be discharge. So if you have got some whitey material coming out and if there is, this is called discharge, then you may think of infection. The pathognomic sign for us is that when you sleep and get up in the morning, if your eye is sticking together, then for sure there is a bacterial infection. Now to treat a bacterial infection, you want to wash your eyes as frequently as possible. You want to start an antibiotic eye drop, an antibiotic eye ointment, take some antihistaminic because it is a little painful and a little hot fermentation. Hot fermentation means make some kerchief or something hot on an iron box and hold it against the eye for about 2-3 minutes but every hour on the hour. Within 3-4 days, you should have a relief on that watery eye. However, now we come into dryness and allergies. Now these two are interrelated. Whenever there is an eye that is dry, it usually leads to also allergies in the eye. Most patients that come into my office already know that their eyes are dry. Already at least 25% of our patients already know that they have allergies in the eye. Like I explained to you, these two are very closely related to each other. Whenever you have dryness of the eye or allergies in the eye, when you come from outside, splash some water on your eye to wash out all the deleterious material. Whenever you're sitting on a computer, television, mobile phone, use a pair of anti-reflective coating glass. That means zero power, but it's going to protect your eyes against the glare of the machines. So let's call this a technology glass. Along with that, you want to use an antibiotic eye ointment. The only reason I'm saying antibiotic eye ointment is actually we need only the ointment base, but I cannot tell you go take a jar of Vaseline because then it's not sterile. Here we'd like to give you an eye ointment. Take little ointment on your fingertips and massage your lids from the outside. We don't need the eye ointment going inside the eye. Along with that, you want some artificial tear drops, which is an over-the-counter medication available at any pharmacy. And you want to use some vitamin tablets. In our office, the way that we also treat them is by putting a silicone plug. This is a lacrimal silicone plug. It's made in USA, patented only for that small canal that connects our eye to the nose. This takes the moisture of the eye into the nose. If we close two of these canals, we will be able to retain moisture in the eye for some more time. 